Hi, I'm Jignesh Shah from Samtech, and we are a proud member of the PCI SIG community for many, many years. Today, I'm here to talk about the PAM4 encoding, which is a new feature of the PCIe 6.0 specification. So now you may ask, what is PAM4 signaling? So uh, PAM, the word PAM stands for Pulse Amplitude Modulation, and the 4 stands for the number of levels. So now most engineers are familiar with a modulation scheme called NRZ, which is non-return to zero. In NRZ, it uses two levels of modulation or two levels of signaling, either a low or a high, or say you can call it a zero or a one. And so in each unit interval, you either send either a zero or a one or one bit. So basically NRZ is basically a PAM2 type of signaling. So PAM4 is a multi-level where it uses four levels of signaling where in each unit interval, instead of sending only one bit, it sends two bits. So it's, it, can, it sends either a 00, zero or a 01, a 10, or a 11. So it can send two bits in a single unit interval. So that's the difference between NRZ and PAM4. So why did PCIe 6.0 adopt PAM4 uh, into its specification? Uh, so all the previous generations of specifications for PCIe have been NRZ or PAM2. Uh, the PAM4 specification has been adopted by other networking standards, uh, starting with 56 gigabits per second, 112 gigabits per second, and soon 224 gigabits per second. Uh, so uh, there's already precedence for this PAM4 by other standards. And this uh, PAM4 allows for PCIe 6.0 to double the data rate to 64 giga transfers per second as compared to uh, PCIe 5.0, or in another way, all the way up to 256 gigabytes per second for a by 16 link. So what, what are the advantages of PAM4 over NRZ, or why use PAM4? So there are two ways to look at this. So PAM4 reduces a channel loss because it operates at half the frequency or half the signal uh, data rate as NRZ. So the, your total channel loss is lower. Or another way to look at it is that for the same signal frequency, you can double the data rate or basically increase the bandwidth of, uh, of, of throughput which is needed for the next generation applications. So what are some of the applications that PCIe 6.0 specification enables with the SPAM4 encoding. Uh, PAM4 allows PCIe 6.0 to enable, enables it to uh, provide the bandwidth required for these high data rate applications that are required in things like AI, machine learning, gaming, visual computing, storage, and of course, networking. So all these applications uh, require a high data rate and so with doubling the data rate as compared to 5.0, it allows uh, uh, to meet the demands that are required for these markets. So in conclusion, uh, PAM4 allows the PCIe 6.0 specification to meet the bandwidth requirements for the next generation applications by doubling the data rate. And for more information on uh, PCIe 6.0 and also for PAM4, please visit www.pcisig.com for more videos, infographics, and of course, FAQs. Thank you.